Nothing breaks my heart more than to see our airplanes come back from time to time with some pretty heavy scratches on the lower cowl. And this comes from, from mechanics removing the cowl that just weren't really aware of the proper way to remove it. So what I want to do is take just a few seconds and give you some tips on how to properly remove the cowling so you can pass those along to your mechanic and that will ensure your airplane stays nice and shiny new for a long time. First thing we're going to do is we're going to work with the top cowling. It comes off like always, just like a normal Cessna 182. But we also want to deal with the canard root fairing. This has to come off to open up a gap between the canard and the cowling to give it room for the cowling to come down. This area is normally where the scratching occurs because they don't remove this fairing. We also put a rag around the canard elevator in between the elevator and the cowling to keep scratching from, from occurring there as the cowling spreads out when it's released. And then we also put a um, rag on the top of the nose wheel pant so if the cowling comes down a little bit low and it's removed, it doesn't scratch the top of the wheel pant. In addition to that, the other thing that's really nice is when you get ready to remove the lower cowling, push the tail down, extend the nose strut, and that gives you a little more clearance between the bottom of the cowling and the top of the, of the nose wheel pant to allow you to remove the cowl. At this point, we've released all the cam locks, so the top cowling comes off just like a stock 182. With the top cowl off, the next item on the agenda is removal of the access panel on the side of the engine. It comes out, followed by the removal of the canard root fairing on the inside of the stabilizer. Many of the scratches on the lower cowling are caused by mechanics failing to remove the canard root fairing prior to dropping the cowling. This causes a lot of damage. So it's vitally important that this fairing be removed prior to dropping the lower cowling. Once we've disconnected the cowl flaps, unhooked the induction system, and disconnected the landing light wiring, the lower cowling is now ready to be removed. It can be dropped down and brought forward without damaging any of the paint.